welcome to Yuknik Spirits, where we're going to do an energy word. Yeah. What is coming? What is coming? Celebration is a success. Yes. Who's going to celebrate? What are we celebrating? What's the celebration? What's the celebration? What's the celebration? Wish fulfillment. Yeah. What is your heart's desire? What have you been wanting? Change? Is that what you want? You want change? Towards something you want? What? Because it's justice. Yeah. Because it's what's supposed to happen. Which tells me, because if you saw it was flipped, that tells me that it wasn't right. And that's what you've been wishing for, is for things to be right. This all creates a change. Beautiful. Holy shit. This change is from complete unhappiness to, like, emotional fulfillment to its fullest. That's amazing. Beautiful energy. Fuck yeah. Ooh, the emperor. This might be happening for an emperor. Someone who's standing in their power. Making decisions that they know are the best for everyone. But they have felt restricted and like they couldn't stand in their power for quite a while. Possibly in an unhappy relationship. Or an unhappy situation. Or an unhappy job. Or an unhappy household. Unhappy roommate status. It was burdensome. Brought a lot of things to worry about. Yeah, again, I felt the burdens. But I think someone finally sees it. They see the burdens, they see the direction they need to go, and they're going towards their wish fulfillment. Because you can't get to the Ten of Cups if you didn't follow your heart. That, is, that, that card is about following your heart. Those cups is heart. <sighs> it is a possibility that this is someone from a past life. It could be someone that you would said goodbye to, it, but it's coming back around beautiful could be someone from a past life if you believe in that and it's like you guys are reuniting in this life for the first time but this changes things and this also creates healing for feeling disappointed in a situation Four cups. This requires you to make a decision. Which cup do you want? What cup is going to help you follow your heart's desire? That's what you've got to figure out. Not a soul. When you've figured out where your balance sits, then you need to run in and do it. Don't don't take time. There's no reason to take time if you truly know that's what your heart wants. You'll feel drawn to go as fast as you need to go. Just don't stop yourself because of fear. Once you get to your destination, then, then you're asked to take it slow. Like, go in like a hot tamale, and then 
That card is about long-term stability. So that is what you're going to want to cover. But that comes in time. So it's going to the situation, whatever it might be, and being like, okay, our ground is dirt right now. We need to go get wood. We need nails. We need a gun. We need, you know, like raw material. We need all this thing because we're going to build this house. And in order to build this, these are what we need. So it's making all of the plans to build that house and actually going and getting the material together to build that house. Burdens again. Is it burdensome to, to have to go slow? Is it burdensome to have to follow your heart? Is it burdensome to have to be you? Fuck yeah, it is. It is. You are so incredibly burdened. It's time to let it go. You can't get to your heart's desire and your ten of cups if you don't let that shit go. Whatever it might be. You need to create balance in your life. That is what I'm seeing. 636 six on the clock. Look up the spiritual angel number for three. It's relevant for this reading. If you're resonating, and this is for entertainment purposes only, only reading the energy I see. Make sure you go inside and make sure you know what it is your heart desires. When you figure it out, speak your truth. And that is what I have for you. Peace, love, and light.